This is dwarf um, wild ginseng. Dwarf ginseng. Dwarf ginseng is closely related to the true ginseng of medicinal use, but this one's not useful medicinally. Apparently it does not taste very good, it has all sorts of properties, See, not only a small size, but it's rarely collected because it's really of no medicinal use, uh, um, even though it is in the same family and has a, so, you know, supposedly you think it has the same chemical type of properties. This is it in bloom on the right, um, and a pop if you left. On the left you see it in bud. It's typified by these three little uh, branchlets of three more leaves apiece and has this little round flower ball. Dwarf ginseng is a plant that's myrmecoporous, meaning it is spread by, uh, by ants. Ants disperse the seeds. Uh, carry, it, it grows a certain little uh, attachment to a conoliosome that's carried back to the nest, ripped off, um, and then the seed is discarded into trash bins for the ants, and in doing so, they plant it in a very fertile area. This is dwarf ginseng, not a common plant by any means, and um, closely related to the true wild ginseng, but it is not, uh, but this is not, um, this is actually not used medicinally. Genus is Panax, just like ginseng, and a small woodland wildflower of rich woods in the shade, um, often on hillsides. In fact, um, oftentimes on very steep hillsides growing on the rocks, as you can see on this one. A beautiful native wildflower, even though in miniature, and one that's getting, uh, that's pretty rare and getting less and less common all the time. Dwarf gents. In spring, mid-April, here in McLean, Virginia.